Hey everybody, this is Stanislav Boyka, and right now, as was requested, I am about to analyze a cue card which says Describe an event when you had to follow rules. You see, it doesn't really matter what kind of event you are going to describe. If you study, you could speak about some exam, or if you work, you could talk about some official meeting. As for me, I'd like to tell you about a visit to a museum, which happened so many years ago, but I can still uh, clearly recall all of those rules we had to follow there. Now, before we start, let's take a look at sub-questions and let's remember uh, the things I told you last time. We don't need to speak equally much about every sub-question. We need to decide and consider very carefully where to speak more and where to give fewer details. Let's take a look at the sub-questions. What the event was, when it happened, what rules you had to follow, and explain how you felt. Some people would speak about each of them, like for equally for 25% for the first one, 25% for the second one, 25% here, 25% there, which would be a big mistake. You see, we're not robots and we shouldn't be, we're human beings, and we need to be more flexible. Somewhere we can speak more, like maybe 40%, and in other you know, sections we can speak less, like maybe 10% would be more than enough. So let's take a piece of paper and see how to make notes. So what the event was, let's write it here. Well, this is closely connected to the you know, main question, describe an event. So here we need to give uh, you know, a lot of details. So let's write it down. Visit to a museum, um, which is located in Russia and called as Cabinet of Curiosities. You can Google that. That's a really amazing museum. Uh, we went there with my friends, and that was my uh, birthday celebration. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, it was my 25th birthday. So, um, when it happened, you see, time here doesn't play a huge role, so we don't have to speak, you know, lots of sentences about time. We can just, you know, uh, give one sentence, and that can be enough. But I don't want to uh, say it in the middle of my speech, so, as the last time, I want to tell it, I want to add it to an introductory sentence. So, it happened in 2012, six years ago. You see, one sentence, not in the middle, but at the beginning, this is about flexibility. If we continue talking about flexibility, we can, you know, uh, speak about the rules we had to follow as well as the opinions about them together. So, I don't want to speak about rules separately, then give my opinions about them separately. I can, you know, discuss them together. So, I would make it like this. Rule number one, and give my opinion about it. Rule number two, my opinion about it. Rule number three, the last but not least, and my opinion about it. You see, we, we can make them, you know, discuss together. Uh, rule number one was no pictures, no photos whatsoever. Rule number two was not to leave a group, yeah, we hired a guide, so uh, we had to be with each other. So, uh, rule number three was um, not to touch exhibits and write exhibits. Right after telling about no photos were allowed, I would give my opinion that it's uh, great for tourism. Later, I'll tell you why. Uh -huh. The second one, not to leave the group, that's about keeping the order. And final opinion, not to touch exhibits, it's about, you know, keeping, preserving, or maintaining those exhibits. And as a conclusion, we can say just it was amazing, an amazing event, even though there were so many rules to follow. Now, let's go back to the question again. Describe an event when you had to follow rules. Okay? So now we have some notes. Yeah, I agree, it can be uh, challenging to write so many details within one minute, but if you keep practicing you'll be able to write even more information, even within 60 seconds. Now, we have notes. We're ready to begin. Let me tell you about an event which happened six years ago, and that was a visit to a museum in Russia. Uh, the name of the museum is Cabinet of Curiosities, and me and my friends decided to go there to celebrate my birthday, my 25th birthday. I wanted to make some special day, and we decided to go there as tourists. When we entered the building, we, together with other tourists, decided to hire a guide who told us about some rules we needed to follow. And we weren't against, and the rule number one for us was not to take pictures. Well, unfortunately, some of the tourists were so amazed uh, looking at those exhibits from the past, and most of them were, uh, uh, you know, 
pu uh, people and uh, animals with some genetical problems, like, you know, um, animals with two heads and people with four legs, the mutants from the past. Uh, well, so they started taking pictures, but our guide was quite polite, so she uh, told those tourists to delete them, and that was not a problem. So in my opinion, uh, that rule is quite useful to keep the interest of uh, other tourists, as, you know, if so many people would take pictures and, you know, upload them online, other tourists would look at them and uh, would lose the interest of visiting that museum. So I wasn't against that rule. And the second rule was not to leave our group. We had a dozen of people in our group, so um, in order to keep the order in that museum, our guide told us not to go very far away from each other. Now, we didn't even try to, you know, we listened to your, um, uh, you know, uh, stories about the past, about Peter the Great, that was quite compelling, so we didn't break that rule. Uh, the final rule I can remember was not to touch exhibits, like in many other museums, you know, during this uh, uh, tour. We were not allowed to touch any of them because most of them were from 18th century. Some of them were very breakable and fragile, and we didn't want to damage them at all. And I, I think that's the good, that authority of museum pays attention to the uh, preservation and maintenance of those artifacts and exhibits. Uh, so, in general, I can say that although we had so many rules to follow, uh, the event itself was amazing. And I still remember my 25th birthday um, with positive emotions because of that event. That's the end of my speech. Now we can see the full analysis here and we can see how I would describe that event with lots of rules. Now, um, I got some messages from other people. Uh, to speak about some difficult questions from part three. So uh, when I get those questions, I would uh, make a new video with part three hard questions. If you have some of them, please leave comments or you know text me a message. I will be happy to read them and to analyze in front of you and to give my answers about them. And that's all for now. Take care. See ya.